Hi everybody, welcome to you in Polter Extension channel of engineer Rafat Khatr. Today, we are going to talk about mycotoxins in poultry. Numerous types of fungi such as Aspergillus, Penicillium and Fusarium grow on corn, soybean cake and some other raw materials used in the formation of poultry feeds. These fungi excrete mycotoxins affect poultry of various kinds and in different stages of life, causing symptoms of mycotoxins on infected birds and increasing mortality. Mycotoxins cause great economic losses to poultry producers as a result of increasing mortality in the infected birds and decreasing in the growth rate of growing birds, which lead to an increase in the percentage of rejected birds. This video contains the most important fungi that cause mycotoxicosis in poultry, clinical signs, gross lesions, prevention, and treatment. These fungi produce toxins that lead to a poisoning symptoms on some organs of bird's body, depending on the type of fungus. The following are the most important fungi producing toxins that grow in poultry feed. 1. Aspergillus species. They produce the following toxins aflatoxin, ocratoxin, cetrinin, and petulin. 2. Penicillium species. They produce the following toxins ocratoxin, cetrinin, petulin, penicillin acid, and others. 3. Fusarium species. They produce the following toxins trichotisins T2 and zeralenum F2. Effects of mycotoxins on birds. 1. Aflatoxin. It is produced by Aspergillus flavus, which has four types B1, B2, G1, and G2, but the most toxic is type B1. Aflatoxins affect the liver, causing fatty and enlarged liver, and discoloration to a yellowish brown color as a result of increased fat formation in its tissue. Also, aflatoxin reduces prothrombin formation, which increases the durations of blood clotting. Therefore, it causes numerous bleeding in the bird's body and damage of surface capillaries under the skin when catching birds. Also, aflatoxin reduces the ability of the liver to metabolize, Therefore, it reduces the ability of birds to metabolize proteins, vitamins, and minerals. Also, aflatoxin causes immune suppression and increases disease susceptibility as a result of 1. Inability to form immunoglobulin due to its inability to metabolize proteins. 2. Degenerations of fibrous and C-mass glands that responsible for the formation of immunity in the early ages of birds. Therefore, birds infected with aflatoxin don't respond to vaccination against viral diseases such as Newcastle and Gumboro diseases. 2. Ocratoxins and Cetrinin They are produced by Aspergillus and Penicillium fungi. Ocratoxin and Cetrinin affect birds' kidney but they don't affect liver. These toxins cause nephritis and the kidney becomes pale and grossly enlarged. Also, they increase water consumption and urea in the blood. Ureters are filled with white urea salts. 3. Petulin. It is produced by Aspergillus and Penicillium fungi. It causes calcium concentration reduction in the blood. Therefore, the percentage of misshaped and broken eggs in infected laying hens is increased. For trichotisians, T2, it is produced by Fusarium fungi. This toxin causes the following poisoning problems. 1. Ulcers in the paired mouse and at the peak's margin, and intestinal irritations cause reduced feed intake and reduced weight gain and egg productions. 2. Feathering weakness. 3. Neurological problems and leg paralysis. 4. Strong suppressions of cellular immunity. 
5 0 lenon F2. It is produced by Fusarium fungi. It causes the sores in the reproductive system and enlargement of the fent in the infected hands. Clinical signs of mycotoxins. The effects of mycotoxins on pairs varies according to fungus type, toxin type, and its quantity in the eating feed and per the sage. Chicks up to two months old are more susceptible to mycotoxins than adult pairs. Clinical signs of mycotoxins are two types. One, acute signs. These symptoms occur as a result of eating feed, which contain a high concentration of mycotoxins for a short period. They are, one, loss of appetite, two, ruffled feathers, three, birth's fate is pale, four, increased mortality. Two, chronic signs. These symptoms occur as a result of eating feed, which contains a low concentration of mycotoxins for a long period, where toxins accumulate in the pair's body, causing the following signs. One, ulcers in the pair's mouth and at the big margin. Two, reduced feed intake, feed conversion, and poor growth. Three, reduced egg production in laying hens. Four, poor egg shell quality and increase the percentage of misshaped and broken eggs. 5. Severe diarrhea, usually green as a result of liver failure. 6. Heterogeneous infected pairs flock due to an increasing number of infected pairs. 7. Immune suppressions and increased susceptibility to diseases and environmental stressors such as heat stasis. Gross lesions of mycotoxins. Gross lesions of mycotoxins differ according to fungus type, toxin type, and its quantity in the eating feed. The following are the most important gross lesions. 1. The liver is fatty and enlarged, and it changes its color to a yellowish brown as a result of the formations of the fat cells in its tissue. 2. Hemorrhagic spots under the skin and on muscles due to surface lacerated blood capillaries. 3. Ocratoxins and citrinin cause the enlarged kidney, and its color becomes pale, and ureters are filled with white urea salts. 4. Damage of mucous membranes of the mouth, crop, intestine, and proventriculus, and the gizzards become erosive, therefore the feed in them is mixed with blood due to bloody bleeding. Prevention we should carry out the following preventive procedures. 1. The feed should be from a reliable source. 2. Also, the feed should be produced with a recent date. 3. Feed should be stored in a dry, well-ventilated place. 4. Feed should not be stored on the farm for a long time. 5. Feed should be provided to bears on meals. 6. The litter in the poultry house should be dry. 7. The wet parts of the litter should be removed and replaced with a dry litter. 8. Feet should be prevented from falling on the wet places of the litter for preventing fungi multiplication. 9. When symptoms of poisoning appear, after introducing a new feed for birds, they should be replaced immediately with another fungi-free feed. 10. Antimycotoxins should be added to the feed to prevent mycotoxins in the feed. A treatment. Affected bears are treated with antimycotoxins. There are two types of antimycotoxins. One, chemical antimycotoxins. They depend on organic acids such as propionic acid, citric acid, and acetic acid, which convert mycotoxins into non-toxic substances which are expelled by bird's body through kidney by diuretics. It is not preferable to use these antimycotoxins in treating mycotoxins because some of them are in the form of crystals, which are broken up into small parts by stomach acids. And when using chemical antimycotoxins, 
they increase its solubility and absorption quickly. Two, biological antimicrobial toxins. They are preparations containing the cell wall extract of some yeast, which contain mannan oligosaccharides and beta glucan, and some beneficial living bacteria, such as the extract of lactobacillus acidophilus, that absorb mycotoxins on their surfaces, preventing them from absorption into the baby's body. Also, the live bacteria ferment and secrete some enzymes that break down mycotoxins and convert them into non-toxic substances that are excreted by the body through the kidney by diuretics that must be present in the biological antimycotoxins. Also, the biological antimycotoxins should contain some liver stimulants such as silymarine and sorbitol that regenerate liver cells and it is the effects of mycotoxins in the liver. Preparations of antimycotoxins used in Egypt. One, antimycotoxins added to feed. They are antimycotoxins in the form of feed additives. They are substances bind mycotoxins in the intestine and prevent its absorption and excreted by the body through the kidney. These substances include zeolites, bentonites, and some types of clay containing calcium or magnesium or aluminium silicates. Many products of these antimicrotoxins are present in Egypt in the form of feed additives. 2. Antimicrotoxins added in drinking water. Many liquid antimicrotoxins are present in Egypt, such as Cynartox, Toxinil, Toxinil Plus, Detox, Intertox, Texnil, Triavol, and many other products. For the treatments of the infected birds, the feed containing mycotoxins must be removed immediately, and the birds are fed on another feed free from mycotoxins and the appropriate antimycotoxins is used according to the instructions of manufacturer company in addition to vitamin K3 at the rate of 5 mg per bird plus vitamin A3E at the rate of 3000 to 5000 units per bird daily for 12 hours daily for 3 to 4 days. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I'll reply with suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.